given the critical role of prompt phrasing in the performance of LLMs, what are the most effective methodologies for crafting prompts that significantly influence the success of a project? You can go online and you can find a number of YouTube videos, blog posts, articles from Google or OpenAI or Microsoft on some of the main strategies that we use to get better uh, prompts. One of these might be few shot learning where you give examples of questions and answers that you want the LLM to use. And then it will do in context learning to try to improve your specific use case questions. The other one that frequently comes up is a uh, chain of thought, which is a use case to where you ask the large language model to reason its way through the problem, uh, extract information that it might need to answer the problem, and then generate its answer. Now, now there's going to be a, a dozen other strategies that may or may not work for your specific use case. But I think the one piece of information that I want to share based on the experience that we've had is that for large language models, really the best thing you can do for your use case to improve your prompts is to simply talk to the large language model. The types of uh, speaking patterns or lexicons that you might employ when talking to a toddler, your spouse, your boss in a presentation will differ. Uh, and in that same way, the types of prompts and ways that I write when I talk to Palm 2 versus GPT-4 versus uh, some of the open source language models will also differ. Now, it's not something that I can sit down and write a blog post about and say best strategies to uh, write for Palm 2 versus best strategies to write for GPT-4. I think what it really gets down to is we have within our brains a region which does communication very well. And you pick up on certain patterns when communicating with others to uh, communicate better. And in that same way, you're going to find that you become better communicators with some of these models by using them more. So I don't want to anthropomorphize large language models, but in this case, it's actually very useful too. The more you talk to a large language model, the better you're going to get at writing effective prompts for that model and writing them in ways and with specific words that will be more effective to that model. 